So I think that charitable planning uh, is, is often something that I talk with our advisors about as a great way to build their business. There are multiple reasons that this is a really good way to bring assets in, to gather new clients. I think the first and most crucial is that talking to your clients about charitable giving is gonna get into the things that they are the most passionate about. And having those discussions is really gonna deepen your relationship with those clients, which helps to keep them sticky. Uh, another great thing with charitable planning is you can often engage the next generation. So I talk with a lot of advisors who bring their clients in, they get them set up with a donor advised fund, and then that client brings their children in, even as early as you know, young kids, to talk about what organizations they want to grant to over the years, and the advisor is able to build a relationship with that next generation so that when their, their parents pass away, uh, the advisor is more likely to keep the assets of the family. Another great thing is that you're able to really kind of broaden your referral sources. So working closely with your clients as they are planning their charitable giving uh, and working with the organizations that they want to support can often open doors to you working with those nonprofits themselves. And working with nonprofits also means working with their board members, and often those board members are your higher net worth individuals. So it really opens up a new you know, band of potential clients for you. And finally, another great thing with charitable giving is you know, not a lot of folks have a strong proficiency in some of these more complex strategies. So building your knowledge in this area is going to allow you to lead the conversation with the client's other professionals, their attorney, their CPA, and then those centers of influence are also going to become a new referral source. It's a really great way to do not only well for your community, but for your own business as well. So for advisors who really wanna get involved in charitable planning and make this a part of their practice, let me give a couple of practical tips first, especially as we approach the giving season. So first, not only is it giving season, it's also RMD season. So for your clients who have required minimum distributions, take a look at their past history of giving and maybe suggest doing a qualified charitable distribution. It's a very easy entry point into the charitable giving conversation. Second, year end is DAF time. So donor advised funds are one of the easiest charitable giving vehicles to use with your clients. And for clients who maybe have had a high income year and need a year end deduction, open up a donor advised fund, fund it with appreciated securities, get that deduction, and then figure out where they wanna give those assets going forward. A little bit of a broader discussion, I think the key thing is just ask. Ask your clients about charitable giving. Include it in your client intake form. Ask them if they give, who they give to, how much they're giving annually. And again, that's gonna open up those conversations about the things that your clients are really passionate about. And then finally, become a chartered advisor in philanthropy. It's a wonderful designation offered through the American College that's gonna give you a deep dive into the charitable deduction, charitable giving vehicles, and the way that nonprofits are run. That's gonna open up all of that, that expertise that you really need to position yourself as the expert in charitable planning.